going on social flare family hope you guys are doing absolutely incredible i want to give you an update on the software what we're working on the improvements we're making what we expect uh, to really change about the software. I want to give you a super big update right now. What's going on in 2021? Now, uh, during the elections, obviously the software took a pretty big hit. Automation is not necessarily something Instagram loves. They don't want different Russian hackers interfering with the elections, which is absolutely under, you know, understandable. And we've seen this coming for a really long time. We kind of rode this to the very end on our personal accounts. I've been doing it personally for the last three to four years. I went from probably three to you know 25,000 followers, all organic, doing follow, unfollow, liking, DMing, uh, basically using this automation software. I used to do it manually on you know by hand, follow, unfollow, liking, reaching out to people. And then what I decided to do was to create a software that does all those manual actions, basically automate it. It was working really, really well for a very long time. And obviously anything that's great will eventually come to an end. And I'm not saying it's a complete ending right now. Uh, however, you know, it's not necessarily the best. Like I've been doing it recently, absolutely shadow man my reach is decreased so what can we do about this maybe you're experiencing something similar to that maybe you've used mass puller or something recently you you're finding that your reach is declined it's not the same that it used to be uh, and this is the update i want to give you how to get around that i am coming out of my shadow band my reach band whatever you want to call it and basically what i've done is just i've stopped all automation I've stopped manual growth on my own account because I would still do follow unfollow by hand and I would still get action blocks and my reach would be destroyed. My, my story views would, would virtually hit no one. So what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping it super low key. I'm not doing any manual actions at all. I'm taking a huge rest, basically. I'm not really liking photos or leaving comments or anything like that. I'm not going super hard with unfollows. Uh, or anything like that because that also really hurts your account. So what's the update? What, what can we do? What can you guys do right now if, you, if you're a subscriber? What can you do? You're on the subscription, you're like, what? Like it's over, what are you talking about? This is what you can do. We've talked about this before. You can create a fan page. You can create two to three, five. I mean, if you're on agency access, you can create as many fan pages as you want. Use different emails for each one. Try to use different numbers if you can. Uh, but what you want to do is create three to five different pages and what you want to do is put them all on the automation these pages don't matter to you if they get deleted if they get shadow banned it doesn't matter you're using these different fan pages to do the work for you you don't want to promote your main page on any automation ever again for at least the immediate short term don't put your personal account on any type of software any type of growth don't even connect it to anything instagram sees this they limit your reach, they limit the amount of exposure you get, it's, it's bad. Your stories virtually go to zero, your, your likes basically decline by 90%, it's really bad stuff. So what can you do? What you can do is, like I said, create different pages and put them on automation. A lot of the, the secrets from the top influencers, the, you know, all these different celebrities, they create hundreds of different fan pages and they put them all on automation. They do, you know, they max it out like 7,500 followers. Um, they follow 7,500 people and they just keep creating accounts and it just fills up the whole Explorer page. And that's what they do. That's what you can do for your personal page is create all these different fan pages. And what you can do is have them be on automation. And so, you know, sky's the limit. You can create as many pages as you want as many fan pages as you want, and you can put them all on the follow, unfollow, DMing, auto comments, all that stuff. That's what we can do in 2021, is use secondary pages to basically promote your main page. So for your main page, stay off automation pretty much forever, because the time is done with automation when it comes to promoting your own personal page. But yes, you can use other pages to promote that. You can do different giveaway campaigns too. That's also what we're doing. Okay, you can do different ad sets 
We're really good at ad sets. You know, a couple dollars, you can get thousands of likes for just a couple of dollars through Facebook ads. We also have a program on that on how to do that. It's on the website. Uh, so in the meantime, what you can do is create different pages, secondary fan pages, and use them on the automation. It works really, really well. Now, if you wanna use your main page and you wanna kind of remove all your followers, maybe you've done a, a giveaway campaign, maybe you've done um, different sites that give you followers and they're not real, and what that looks really ugly from like a, a third party audit, they can literally see all the fake followers you have, they can see Indian accounts, they can see all these different foreign accounts, and it just looks really bad on your end. So we do have a tool that we just created that will remove all of the ghost followers, people that have never liked your photo, people that have never engaged, people that have um, you know, uh, a different language in their bio, people that have like six plus digits in their name. You can use that tool and remove all of them. I removed like you know, close to 10,000 people over you know, the last five years that have followed me that haven't really engaged in my content. So I've removed all of them. And I guarantee in a, in a couple of weeks, my reach is gonna be more when I start posting stories and photos. I'm completely off automation on my main page and I'm already seeing my reach dramatically increase in all different areas. And what I'm gonna do from here is create different fan pages and I'm gonna automate them and point them to my main page. So that is what I would recommend for anyone that's on a subscription plan right now. And if you guys have any questions at all, DM me on Telegram, 24 seven customer support. I'm always on Telegram. You always have access to me. If you have any questions at all with how to create a different page or anything like that, you can hit me up. The software works. It's just, you can get blocked. You can get action blocked, especially if you're going too fast. If you're following too many people too fast, unfollowing, you can run into action blocks, which shadow bans you. So I don't recommend to do it on your main page anymore. Find other secondary accounts and use them and point the audience to your main page. So for example, you send out 50 DMs a day to, your, to a specific hashtag. Let's say it's like nutrition or something like that and you have like three different fan pages all sending comments to the hashtag nutrition where it's pointing these people to your main page. That's how you wanna think about it. You wanna send all these different fan pages and, and point the hashtag to your main page. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions at all, hit me up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for sticking around. You guys are absolutely incredible. And if you think this content's good, Get ready, we're gonna have amazing content coming. We're gonna be traveling all over LA, bringing you guys amazing, amazing content. And uh, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.